Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have my August flashback favorites to share with you, and that's where I go back and re-review the items that I had said were my favorites last August. So it gives me a year to test products out, see if I still absolutely love them, and sometimes things change a little bit. I got this idea from Kristen Game. I'll put her channel down below so you can go and check out her videos. Uh, the first item I had talked about was the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer, and it was in the medium shade. I don't have anything to show you because I got rid of it. I did a major declutter of my stash. I'll probably insert a picture or something so just so you can see what it looks like. But it was a beautiful bronzer. It had more of a reddish tone to it, almost like you were kissed by the sun with a, like, a hint of pink in there, a hint of red. Um, I really, it was a nice bronzer, but I have so many. It's gonna take me forever to go through my other bronzers. And it wasn't one that I was like, this is a must have for me. So it kind of changed there. It's no longer a favorite. Then I had the Stila Color Balm Lipstick in Sonia, and I still have this. It is a very beautiful lipstick. The color is gorgeous. I like the formula of this. It feels nice on my lips. It doesn't dry my lips out. It has a peppermint sensation, but not stinging at all. My big problem with this lipstick is that it's not a bullet. It looks like a chapstick and it just gets all over the place. It's really hard to apply this and I wouldn't purchase another one of these, although I do like the formula. Maybe Stila will revamp um, their packaging and maybe make it in a bullet a little bit easier to apply to the lips because it really is, I, I mean, I haven't been using this for that very reason because it's just not easy to use. Last year I had featured this Sephora eyeliner. It's in dark brown. It's the long-lasting eyeliner and I've repurchased this. It really is a nice liner. See how dark it is? It lasts well on my eyes and it's not as expensive as some of the really high-end brands uh, are for their liquid liner. I think that this is around $14. I, I'll have to go and check, but last time I purchased it, I think it was like $12 or $14. So I, I'm still really liking that a lot. The next favorite from last year that I'm going to re-review is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in 210 Impulsive. And this was a gift from one of my friends, Steph from Flourish XO, and I'm going to put her channel down below so you can go and check her out. And also, uh, my original video is going to be linked down below so you can go and watch that if you're interested. But here's a swatch of the lipstick. It is really a nice lipstick. I enjoy this. I actually put it on last month and I was like, oh my gosh, I like this so much and I rediscovered it. Last month, it is really a lovely lipstick. It lasts a little bit longer and is a little bit more drying than say like Bite Beauty lipsticks or even the Stila Color Balm lipstick. It's a little bit more drying than that, but it lasts a while on my lips and the color it is really a beautiful shade. Even though it's more appropriate for like spring, summer, and early fall, I would wear this in the winter for sure. So it was, it was I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I had talked about this Eco Tools blush brush last year, and it's a nice brush. It's inexpensive. I think it's around six or seven dollars. It applies blush really well. It blends it out well. It's a synthetic bristle brush. There's not much else I can say about it. It's really soft and it's nice for $6. It's, it is a nice brush, so I'll continue to keep that in my favorites. Last but not least would be the Essence Cookies and Creams Blush, and this is in Cake Pop That's Top. I heard about this from Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, and also Stephanie. These are so nice. I really, really like these. I wish they were part of the permanent collection but I do have this on my cheeks today, layered on top of another blush. has a really nice sheen to it. And it's, it's for three, I think these were th around $3. Really good products. They also had these two eyeshadows. These were limited edition as well. But this one is Macron C'est Bon, and this is a beautiful highlight shade. And I've used that before just as a highlight on my cheeks. And this one is Last Night a Cookie Saved My Life. So both of those are very pretty. I'll do a swatch of this one. And the other one. They're just beautiful. And they're so soft and smooth and finely milled. For a drugstore, it blew me away. It really did. And actually, Steph got these for me too, because I had done a swap with her. And uh, those were some of the items that she had sent me. That's it for my flashback favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you really soon. Bye! Then I had this Estee Lauder Lada. I'm like, I can't. What is going on? Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi.
blush brush. I like this brush. Blah, 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 blah. 